Nigerians have been clamoring for good governance, which can only be stimulated by good leadership that will give rise to development. Well, we had a report in the first hour. All right, let's bring in Nollywood actress, producer, and activist Kate Henshaw to talk about this. Uh, it, she's wearing a different cap or hat, if you like, tonight. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Kate. Thank you, Gazi. Well, does it amuse you that as an entertainer who is known for your thespian you know, skills and all of that, all of a sudden you're beginning to find yourself on the field of politics? <laughs> All right, so why have you chosen to lend your voice to this uh, cause? Uh, we have no choice. Politics dictates most of our lives. The policies mm. that politicians come up with, um, presidential proclamations, they all have an effect and trickle down to the smallest person on the streets. So we need to be um, engaged people, engaged citizens. We need to mm. open our eyes and, and keep our eyes on the ball and know what is really going on in politics. Very, very crucial and important. So Absolutely. What is your major concern when you look at the conversation that goes on, especially on social media where a lot of Nigerian youths leave, that's their home. That's their constituency. What is it you feel when you see the conversation there and how ignorant some of them are? <sighs> I wish and I pray that they have, because they have the tools at their fingertips. But you spend it just doing something else rather than getting yourself the right tools and knowledge to be able to be adequately informed about the workings of politics. Which is why I like a platform like Fix Politics. Fix Politics has started a school on policy, politics and governance, mm -hmm. SPPG, and they're trying to get people to come on board so that they can have the right foundation. I mean, when you know, when you have knowledge, then you can approach a topic or a situation with knowledge. You know, so it's about having an empowered and engaged electorate, demanding a value-based political class being regulated by our constitution, mm -hmm. electoral law, political law, and of course, strong institutions. That's what fixed politics is about. And of course, with what um, I came for um, with Shinopela, Shinopela, which mm -hmm. is the lead gen initiative, it's all well and good. I know that it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Mm -hmm. And I heard you talk about 2020, time is short. So mm -hmm. maybe we have to um, dovetail on the people that are already there. The, good young people that are already mm. in the system to be able to move forward and then carry along the other ones behind. But we need to inform those on Twitter. They need to open their minds up to learn, to know how the legislative works, how the executive works, how legal works. Everyone has their own, but somehow they kind of mishmash everything. Maybe that's where bodies like lead generation that you just talked about were, because we just had that discussion with Shino Pella and what OBS Equestly, you know, is coming up with hopefully more voices and more action, you know, will back the call yeah. for youth to actually engage themselves. But are the Nigerian youth themselves, are they ready? Are mm. they really ready to take on the challenges and the responsibilities of leadership? There is a content and capacity um, um, deficit, I might say, because if you say youths, are they ready? Let's look at the last uh, election that happened in Lagos State. How many? How many? Yes. And this was immediately after yes. NSAS, where yes. we're feeling that that energy will translate mm. into their voices being really heard. It's not about tweeting. Social media is all well and good. There's a place for that. But we all know that politics in Nigeria is grassroots engagement people, soldiers, feet on the ground, people, the people that are making decisions, they're not on Twitter. No. They're not on Twitter. <laughs> the market woman is not on Twitter. The youth leader is not on Twitter. Yes. The traditional ruler is not on Twitter. These are the people that will go and they will queue. They'll be on the sun and yeah, they're pressing buttons on the phone. Uh, two different worlds entirely, and people need to understand that. Do, I'm glad you mentioned NSAS. Mm. Do you think that opportunity was lost in terms of youth you, using that energy that you talk about? To or, translate or into, into, into action, real it, action. It, it, it was. For me, it was very disappointing. I was like, okay, we have this energy. I mean, we can only do so much as shout and talk, but when it comes down to things being done factory. we need to have our hands in there we all need to be involved so i was a bit disappointed with the turnout of the numbers and it was like oh okay so it was just you guys on the streets trying to talk about whatsoever but it was justifiable because 
um, today the speaker, former speaker, Dogara spoke about the answers and saying that it was some people, everyone, some people may have suffered police brutality at one point or the other. So it was for a just cause. But then it became something bigger and we've all opened our eyes to see that we, we deserve more and we mm. want more from our politicians, from our leaders. We demand better governance for the people. You have been in, you're not just one that talks about politics and encourage others. You put your hands I've dipped my feet in there. Everything, you dip everything into it. Yes, I did. So when you look Was at your experience, experience ah, <laughs> you asked and you started laughing. So you went. <laughs> Can only so, you only got the answer already. the experience, uh, what do you expect the younger people right, to feel? Uh, well, we we'll really have to go now. Ah, sorry. They, they, just, they need money, nice. Shah. Just know that. Okay, they great. Money. Plenty of money. Oh. Thank okay. you so much. Kate, <laughs> Tensha, we wish you all the very You're best. You're welcome.